Welcome to the ECM lab. Today we're going to talk about ECM internal lithium batteries. What I have here is a replacement battery for DDEC4 and DDEC5. This is what's supposed to go in them. Some people have been known to put these in them. They'll both do the job. One was meant to go on the International Space Station and in your ECM, and the other was meant to go in key fobs. So Another thing about the batteries, <clears throat> you see, you see that this is your battery right here. So you would think you'd want to replace it with a battery that's just like it. These are pretty hard to find. I always try to keep a few uh, in stock, but um, I can get them, and I do these. I'll replace this battery. I'll replace this battery with this battery for the same price as the other guys who are putting in that kind of battery. And this is something that would be typical for a key fob or something of that nature. Um, they're very common and inexpensive, and uh, they have a little bit less voltage and um, about half the life as one of these batteries does. But um, they do work for a little while, uh, but the way that it was done with these was this was mounted in a little cradle and glued to the old battery and the terminals of the old battery were cut. So yeah, it turned the code off for a while. Um, the ECM's uh, RTC was functioning normally at that point, but uh, there's a two problems there. The longevity isn't as good just simply because the battery isn't as good. And uh, the second thing is, sometimes these would come loose and bounce all around the ECM while it's running and uh, destroy everything it touched pretty much. Um, sometimes some of them could be saved, but most of them were junk. Uh, so, yeah, I, um, uh, all joking aside, I don't, I won't use these. Uh, I, I only use these because as expensive as they are, uh, they're worth it for the type of longevity and uh, the quality of this ECM, it, it deserves a good battery. So um, these are all I use right here. Don't use these, be these things. These things are for key fobs. These are for your ECM right here. Here's the main processor. This is the analog to digital converter. This is the boot memory chip. These are supplementary memory chips 